In 1983, two scientists reported an intriguing connection between peptic ulcers, which are stomach and duodenal ulcers, and a species of bacterium named Helicobacter pylori. They discovered that people with peptic ulcers typically have stomachs colonized by these bacteria. This discovery pointed the way to a cure. A course of antibiotics usually eradicates the bacteria and cures a patient of recurrent peptic ulcers. Although most microbes are quickly killed by stomach acid, which is about pH 2, the hardy H. pylori thrive in the stomach. Under acidic conditions, H. pylori use a type of enzyme called urease to convert urea into ammonia and carbon dioxide. The resulting halo of ammonia neutralizes stomach acid, making the bacteria's microenvironment hospitable. H. pylori travel by whipping their tail-like flagella. The bacteria propel themselves through the mucous gel that lines and protects the stomach's epithelial cells. Under the mucus, the bacteria attach to the epithelial cells and continue to use urease to deacidify their microenvironment. Without urease, H. pylori cannot colonize the stomach. How do these bacteria cause ulcers? There are several possible mechanisms. For example, bacteria release a number of compounds that are toxic to epithelial cells. Additionally, the host's immune system sends phagocytes, lymphocytes, and neutrophils to the site of infection. These cells induce chronic inflammation, gastritis, in the stomach lining without ever eradicating the bacteria. It is thought that the direct damage done by the bacteria and the inflammation weakens the stomach lining, making it more susceptible to damage by stomach acids and digestive enzymes, and resulting in the formation of ulcers. In addition to gastritis and ulcers, H. pylori bacteria are also associated with stomach cancer.